Good morning, welcome back to McLovin Moto. My name's Ryan, as you can see on my shirt, and uh, you are watching my channel all about adventure motorcycles, uh, dual sports, classic cars, hot rods. So welcome back, appreciate you being here. Today, I am super excited because we are headed out to pick up a 1973 Plymouth Scamp. We're going to get on the road here in just a few minutes. We are headed to Philomath, which is not far from here, and uh, we're going to go snag this scamp. This car, uh, I didn't even know about it till a couple weeks ago. I stopped by uh, Wilson Motors in Corvallis, which is uh, the local Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ford dealership. Uh, I was speaking to one of the um, service riders there, uh, and I showed him a picture of my Chrysler, and in the picture of the Chrysler was my Dart sitting behind it, and he goes, hey, that's a nice A-body. And uh, I talked to him about the Dart, and he goes, "Yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a Plymouth Scamp. It hasn't been out of uh, storage uh, in about 20 years." Uh, but my dad and I, his his dad and him, uh, went through and rebuilt the motor and the transmission and put a different rear end in it. And uh, he was interested in selling it. So after uh, going to look at it, I really liked it. It's really straight and clean. Uh, we made a deal, and I'm going to pick it up today. So come along with us as we go snag this. Plymouth Scamp. Like I said, it hasn't been on the road in almost 20 years, just about 20 years, and uh, I'm hoping to get it home, give it a nice bath, uh, vacuum it out, detail it, and then start working on uh, getting the motor running again. Uh, it's got about 12,000 miles on the motor and transmission before it was parked, and uh, about 500 miles, he said, on the rear end. It's got a 318 with 360 heads, a Mopar purple camshaft, headers, uh, dual plane intake manifold, uh, aluminum intake manifold. It's got a uh, Carter AFB four barrel on it, and uh, it's power steering, power brake car. It's got a Mopar. It's uh, called a 999 automatic transmission, so a little bit heavier duty than the 994. Uh, it's got a 2500 uh, lockup stall converter in it, and some custom uh, some custom parts in the transmission. And then it's got an eight and a quarter rear end with a 355 uh, gear ratio with a Sure Grip. Uh, limited slip differential. So come with us and uh, check this car out with me. I'm going to walk you through and we're going to kind of do a little build series on it. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, here we are. Here's the 1973 Plymouth Scamp. Still parked back in the uh, in the storage unit. We'll walk past it here. Look at all that dust. Gonna work on getting her out of here. Give you a view up this side of the car. A little bit dark in here. I'll get you guys in here when uh, when we get it out in the light. It's got the torque thrust wheels, one of my favorites. Super rad. Scan. Got the turn signals up on the up on the fenders like my dart. There she is coming out of the storage unit. <coughs> First time in 20 years. Look at that, 2004. What a neat machine. Just love the wheels. Those tires don't even look weather checked. <laughs> For being in there that long, I mean, there's no, there's no checking. It's got a little bit of rub where it's rubbed on the, on the side. Some of my favorite hot rod wheels. Oh, sorry. Uh, you know, you didn't drive very hard 
guys what do you think look at that first time out of the storage unit dang she's cool got a few character marks I like it wheels BF Goodrich tires Love the color. She doesn't come without a few scars, a few marks. You know, things happen when you're old. A little bit here. Got some work to do. Should be fun though. Hey guys, can I hold that thing yeah. for a second? Yeah, it's a sway bar. Yeah. Oh, it's so heavy. Doing, doing curls? Nice. Bring it here. All right, everybody, here it is, the 73 Plymouth Scamp. It's loaded. We're going to get it home and start cleaning on it. Thanks so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. My name's Ryan. This is McLovin Moto, and uh, let's move on to the next section of this uh, new car. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so we did a little work on the Scamp. Uh, it is now washed. I didn't film that. It was actually pretty quick. It was really just dusty. Oh man, I'm sweating like crazy. Can you see that? But uh, it was really just dusty. So I just washed it off real quick. I soap, soap and water. It actually looks really good. Let me walk you around it and then we're gonna take it off the trailer. So here she is. 73 flavor. It's got the American Racing Torque Thrust D wheels. BF Goodrich tires, they've been on there a long time, but uh, they actually are not weather checked because it's been inside so long. So it sat inside and really stayed pretty clean. The front end, I'll show you the motor here in a few minutes. I think I said it's got a 318. It's had some work done. Got a little ding right here, front corner. There's those wheels, I love these. Super cool. Is the tramp scamp there's the pat there's the driver's side but no no rust here on these quarters here's the rear love these tail lights this is one of my favorite tail lights on the old darts and the scamps these uh tail lights in the bumper and these single the single ones my dart has the dual on both sides which is fine but uh, i prefer this so we're going to work on getting it off the trailer real quick but there she is, all washed up.
let's open this trunk and uh, I'll show you what's inside. Oh boy, lots of goodies, lots of parts and pieces. Look at that. Oh, there's a there's a kit for the the carburetor, the Carter carburetor. Oh, new jets and rod metering rods. All sorts of goodies in there. Oh, thermostat at one point. Oh, it's a 195. Okay, there's the intake manifold box. It's a Wyand Wyand intake manifold. Not too bad of shape. Got a little bit of surface. A little bit of surface rust there. No part performance. Oh, there's a fuel pump and a fuel regulator in there. What else we got here? Looks like parts from the carburetor at one point, belts. Maybe an exhaust uh, manifold part. Goodness. Yep, definitely got some stuff to go through there. Mopar Performance Power Steering Fluid. So yeah, there's there's the trunk. Okay, I think I was showing you earlier, there's a little bit of rust, you know, in this corner. It looks like somebody tried to seal it up. Got some cracking here along the side. Let's pop the let's pop the hood and see what we got. There's the motor. It's a 318. Got a set of 360 heads on it, I was told. There's the Y end intake. Carter AFB carburetor. Let's see if it's is it stove up. Nope. Moves. That's good. It's got Mopar electronic ignition up here. This doesn't look good. I already popped this. This doesn't look good at all. I'm gonna have to uh, Probably put a new radiator in it. That thing's nasty inside. Not good. So that's going to need to get replaced. It is a factory air conditioning car, which is cool. Uh, a bunch of the air conditioning parts are in the trunk. Um, I don't know that I'm going to put that back on, at least not anytime soon. And if I did, it might be like a vintage air type system. But it does have headers. It does have the four barrel intake. It's the Wyand uh, Stealth intake is what that is. Mopar Performance valve covers. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that air cleaner. Hopefully I can find something else that fits. Uh, I don't like those too much. They tend to, if the car backfires, set on fire. So we'll uh, we'll take that out, I think. It does have power brakes. It does have power steering. You can see the power steering pump down there underneath. I've got a new battery for it sitting over here. Just got that. I think my first thing, the first thing I'm going to do is pull all the spark plugs, which they look like they're fun to get to, especially those back there. Pull the spark plugs and uh, put some oil down the cylinders, just a little bit of like marble mystery oil, let it sit, crank it over, uh, get on the snout of the, of the crank and crank it over and see if I can't get the motor to turn. And then uh, see from there what it needs. Some fresh gas. I did pop the gas cap and it smells awful. So the tank's probably full of gross nastiness. So I'll fix work on that. Here's the inside. This passenger seat's broken. So I'm gonna have to work on work on fixing that. It's all torn apart. Hopefully I can hopefully I can fix that. It does have the green interior. There's the air conditioning vents. Like I said, it is factory AC car. Uh, somebody put, I think Jeff put a stereo in it at one point. Look at this, check this out. I thought this was super cool. This is a Traveler 2 and it's a radar detector. How old is that? I wonder when those were, wonder when that was new, but how cool is that? I'm keeping that in there. They did put an aftermarket tape deck in it back in the day. It has an aftermarket Grant steering wheel. No gauges though. It doesn't have any, any extra gauges. So I think I'm going to Throw a set of gauges in it so I can monitor the old uh, motor and make sure that it's solid when I when I do start it. See, it's got quite a oh man, a lot of stuff back there. I'm mean, gonna get to go through and pull all this stuff out. 
Seat's got some mold and mildew on it. There's a box of, uh, well, it says shoes, but I don't think it is. So that's, uh, that's on the list, fixing the seat. Yeah, all in all, what do you think? Pretty neat car, really neat car. Just needs a lot of TLC. It's been sitting a long time. Uh, actually, what's interesting is, is that this car sat the same length of time as my Newport, which is sitting over here. And now look at it, it's all clean and shiny and runs great. Well, it's got a new motor, but I'm hoping I don't have to put a motor in this one. But same time, and this had, this the Newport had 04 tags on it and this one's got 2004 tags on it so i'm excited to get this going this is my first uh oh yeah mopar performance this is my first a body with a v8 um my as you know my white dart is a six cylinder if you've watched my my channel at all actually i haven't even done a i need to do a review on the dart first probably but it's got a six cylinder and uh so this one's got the a built 318. I'm super, super excited about that. But got a bunch of stuff to clean out of the clean out of the trunk, it looks like. There's the back. Love these tail lights. It's my one of my favorite bumpers. It's got dual exhaust, headers. Driver's side, pretty clean again. It's got, you know, it's got this rust here. I'm gonna have to look at. Quarters are real solid. It's you know, it's starting a little bit on the inside here, inside of the doors. Nothing major really. This looks foobard. Somebody had a good time uh, fixing that. That's not good. I guess it works, but it's not pretty. And uh, the door shuts, thankfully. Here's another shot of the interior driver's side. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of work. It's gonna be, a, well, probably a lot of work. But that's half, uh, half the fun. That's what I like to do is get these, uh, get these old cars back on the road. Couldn't find a nut. No. Nope. Uh oh. Where'd it go? If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'd be happy to try and answer them. It's a pretty neat old car. I'm looking forward to working on it and making it look like that old car. So I'll get back at you later.